Okay, so in this video I'm just going to quickly try and show us how we can uh, explore and extract bits and pieces from FreeSpace as individual file objects which we can uh, bookmark and create comments about. Um, I'm using Nextwise Forensic 17.3 SR7. Uh, I've already created a, a case just in the default location. Um, so before we do anything else, we obviously need to add an image. So we right click, add image. I've got the NTFS image here. We add the image, and as you can see, it immediately traverses the partition. I've got no filters on at the moment. Um, and as you can see, Xpose Forensics groups free space into one large virtual file, virtual bin uh, dictated to by the, the icon here, which you can look up in the legend. And as you can see here, virtual file listed for examination purposes. So this is something that XWise Forensics has effectively categorized like that, uh, as there are several others, not to be confused with an original file, which is actually uh, located as part of the file system of the evidence object that you're examining. Um, I'm not going to describe all about free space and uh, what people do with it. Um, I just want to let's pretend for a minute that we're uh, um, a regular person who's lost our data and we want to try and find a few bits and pieces. So um, whenever you click on free space and go to file, uh, the file view here shows the uh, hex level representation of this entire free space chunk. Uh, and naturally there's stuff in here. So I'll just scroll down a few bytes here and as you can see there's some text in here uh, with no obvious uh, uh, header or anything like that but it's clearly text let's pretend that this is re of relevance for some reason if we sweep from there and down to the end of this block of text say to there right click and select add block as virtual file what this will do is add this segment as a child object to the free space so when we click that it asks uh, what we want to give it a name. So we'll call this text segment one, free space text. Uh, and we'll tick the box to create a report table association at the same time. Uh, notice there aren't any options here because this is just a child object for free space. Okay, uh, what you can see straight away is that there's a oh, one in bracket next to free space and the icon has changed to the three dots to represent that it's got a child object. Now let's find something else. Let's try and find a cookie. Here's some bits and pieces that looks kind of cookie-esque to me. So let's just grab that, right click, add block as virtual file. Now it's got two, free space two. And you can go on like that infinitum until you're finished. When you're done at the end, if you double click the free space, it will come up with this, uh, uh, asking if you want to explore, view or explore. Uh, I generally go on explore. And what explore does is it then lists those child objects. And as you can see in there, we have uh, the free space segment and in the preview pane if this was a, a, a legible file which this one partly is, is in, in many ways it just happens to be uh, like a CSS code or whatever um, and in here look we have what's actually quite a well formatted document with uh, carriage returns and entire chapters but now what we can do more significantly notice already that um, we've got it bookmarked in two individual report tables which of course we can filter on if we want we could say I just only want to see that one uh, or I only want to see that one but more to the uh, get rid of all filters you just click that it gets rid of it 
but what we can do now, which is neat, that you can't do uh, individually with a, an entire chunk of free space, is we can add comments to these individual files. So if we right click this particular file object and click edit comment, uh, we can put in here this is a segment from free space, etc. etc. And you can obviously go to town with that. So there's a comment there. And we can add a comment here too. And now it's got comments. And of course, if you had hundreds or thousands of these entries, you could then highlight them all as usual, right click, export list, choose which bits you want in your um, spreadsheet, um, choose whether you want it HTML. I might just go HTML for some of it today. eventually opens in Chrome and there you go your two, uh, your two entries simples